roots or we're taking cube roots of numbers. So what can we not take the square root of? What can we not take the square root of? A negative number, okay? We cannot take the square root of a negative number. So for our domain, for a square root function, um, what is under the square root has to be greater than or equal to zero. Okay, what's under your square root has to be at least zero. You can take the square root of zero, just not anything less than zero. Now, cube roots, can we take cube roots of negative numbers? Yeah? Because negative two cubed is negative eight. So for a cube root, our domain is all real numbers. Okay, so that makes it easy. Now our range for a square root, remember kind of the square root functions appeared out of nowhere. It had that, that starting point. So to figure out a range, the range for the square root, um, if it's a positive square root, okay, positive square root um, plus a number on the end, then our range would be from that number on the end to infinity. But if it is a negative square root, if there's a negative in front of our square root plus a constant on the end, that flipped our, our uh, square root function over, so our range is from negative infinity to that C value, that constant that's added on the end. Now, if there's not a constant on the end, then it's just zero. Cube root, anybody remember what the range of a cube root is? All real numbers. Okay, a cube root is like a cubic function on its side. It looks like this somewhat, depending on which way it's pointed. Um, so, yeah, it goes really slowly, but over here it's going to decrease forever. Over here it's going to increase forever, so it has a range of all real numbers. Okay, so really quickly let me look at number 25 here. Domain. We got to take what's under the square root, set it greater than or equal to zero, and solve for x. So that says our x values are greater than or equal to two. So that would be from two to infinity, would be our domain. I just took what's under the square root, set it greater than or equal to zero, solve for x. The range, it is a positive square root. There's nothing in front of our square root right here. Um, the number on the end is 2, so our range is from 2 to infinity. So it looks like the same as the domain, but the domain's talking about the x values, the range is talking about the y values. Thirty's a cube root, it's all real numbers. They both are all real numbers. That That's easy. You don't have to literally, if you see a cube root, just write all real numbers or your interval notation and you're good. <laughs>